Hello guys, welcome back to the bench. And this is a quick intro before the actual video starts. Stay tuned to the end, because we will be seeing the winner of the uh, Vallejo, Vallejo box set Game Air Paints. And uh, But this is just a brief intro to the actual video. Uh, stay tuned as I unbox and present you my brand new Pace spray booth. I love this thing. It's a uh, uh, company from Ohio, Pace. They make uh, all they make is spray boots, three boots, and that's it. So they're good at what they do, and um, y y you'll see in the quality of this unit, it's fantastic. But anyway, yeah, this is to present you guys my brand new Pace spray booth, and um, thank you to Bob, and it's much appreciated. And uh, that's it. This is the quickie. Back to the main video as we unbox it, and then at the end we'll give away this beautiful box set of paint. Hello guys, and welcome back to the room. And uh, today we're going to be premiering my brand new spray booth. And I haven't even technically unboxed it yet, so uh, I wanted to capture this now. And uh, we're going to go over where it's going. And I might have a little bit of shaky cam here, but I have the stabilizer on, so let's see what happens. Anyway, here is my room when I first walk in. And a lot of this is new stuff right here. And this is stuff I've had. I put my complete lineups in a row. And uh, you can see the artwork used to cover the wall, but had to get rid of it because the paint took priority. Um, also in the video today, the winner will be named at the end of this video for the Vallejo box set. So that is coming up too. And I got a new uh, Murderer's Row here. Look at all the new Gundam Converges I got. Anyway. Oh, and I started the white test, which is coming soon. I already started brushing on. Some of the lacquers so that is coming very soon but anyway as we turn around here is the booth i'm always filming at and here's where i mount the phone and the cameras right there and uh that's the old booth i got the lights turned on it and uh, there is the my 2d air compressor right there my uh respirator is in here there we go and um the new booth is quite large i think it's three feet across at least and you'll see it in a minute it's all steel and uh, it's going to take up the majority of this. Now it's pretty tall. It's going to come up to around here. So I'm going to have to take this shelf and move it up after I pause this video. And I won't be able to fit the taller cans. I'll have to reverse everything, put the smaller stuff on top. But just so I have room for the hose. And I'm still going to keep my extra exhaust fan because there's one built into the unit, of course, just like this one. But I like this as an extra push out through the window. And that's it. I'll be clearing all of this off. I used to have all my uh, airbrush cleaners here and um, the spoons here, but I took the spoons and put them right here into this little holder, you know, and I got at the same time, I got this new uh, drawer tray, which is fantastic. 10 drawers really cleaned up everything. And um, I used to put the sp st spoons here, slipping on my words, and some of the products I'll be testing. I use a lot of the paints I'll be testing are going to go up here. I'll be testing this tester's little mini airbrush set very soon. Uh, all of these wicked candies we'll be testing soon. Oh, here's a bunch of kits I just got literally this week. If you guys are interested in what I'm building here, check that out. Some cool stuff. And I just got everything organized up here. Got all the paints off of uh, all the tables. I had to make room for everything. But I'm starting to get everything neatened up. But anyway, uh, oh, this came in yesterday. Look at this, guys. A 160th scale resin Barbatos. That's a perfect grade size Barbatos. Well, maybe I'll do an unboxing video in a little bit. A full resin Barbatos. Look at that. We are excited for this baby. Um, and that's it. And I got a glass file test coming up. As you can see, everything I have that's coming up to be tested is within reach. That's just how I do it. But let's go out here and show you the size of the box that this thing came in. This is my laundry room. And there it is. And uh, yeah, I thought it would come smaller and you would build it. But it came assembled. You know, it's kind of light because it's not solid. Came with a nice note. Hello, Robert. That is my name. This is the 36-inch Deluxe. Paint, uh, paint booth is the first change in 20 years. 
You now have number the number one new and improved model, 36 inch deluxe. The filter size is now 24 by 12 by one, and it's much easier to change and will last longer. And performance has improved. So there we go. So I cut it open. So let's just. And that's how it shows up right there. I'm going to kneel down here a little bit. It's got plugs built into the side. How awesome is that? There's the exhaust out the top. And uh, all the throw switches, I guess, for different lights and the fan. I think the lighting is inside. I got special light bulbs for it. I think will work well. But look at the size of this. I mean, here's my hand. And it's literally, it's th you know, 30 sets, 3 feet. And there is the filter, but we'll see it better in the other room. I just wanted you guys to see how it showed up. It comes with free shipping, uh, which is good. The booth isn't cheap, but look at what you're getting. Now, they have a smaller one, too. Same thing in a smaller size. And uh, this booth will be featured now in all my videos. But let me unpack this. I'll take all this stuff off and uh, clean off the bench in the other room. And let's set this up and test this baby out. All right, guys. Here it is somewhat set up uh, it's a little taller than I thought so the shelf had to come off I'll get a shorter shelf here leaving uh, the exhaust open and free it doesn't quite fit into my secondary exhaust fan so I'm going to uh, tomorrow get some brackets move it further up so the hose isn't kinked that's all I also could probably just tie it in straight out but I do like having the extra fan um, the light bulbs didn't fit I had I bought a set of bulbs and uh, they didn't work they were for outdoor they were really fat so I bought the wrong bulb but for lights on the inside let me show you what I did I got this awesome magnetic rechargeable it lasts weeks by the way you recharge it with USB and then uh, here's the button it's got three-way lighting so what I did was you take this you go all the way up here and then turn it on there we go check that out and this is another magnetic LED strip I just stuck it here because it's metal anything magnetic sticks to it so that's right here and uh, the cord to this goes out to the side I can plug everything into the side of the unit right there I haven't done that yet because I already had these cords you know sitting there but I'll have it all tidied up and neatened up uh, very soon and I also have this so yeah it's a strip of LEDs sticky on one side so I think I'm gonna just run it along the edge maybe on the inside here and I'll light the whole booth up it's pretty well lit now um, look at that so a couple other things because it's metal I can finally use these Mr. Hobby airbrush holders they have a magnet on the bottom and I had to like bolt some uh, I had to use a piece of steel over there off to the side just so I can use them but now they stick in the booth check that out isn't that great so now in the booth I can just oh man they really stick I can really uh, stack them off to the side the booth is so big I can do my work in here here is the filter pad and it's got a sponge rubber seal around it and you can't miss what pad you need you know I would cut this out keep it in my wallet when I run to Lowe's or my Home Depot and it just comes right out and you just slide it in you can't get easier than that um, let's put the fan on so you guys can hear it the second one in that's it it's dead silent I think my other exhaust fans even louder and that's not that loud um, the uh, this controls the lights I gotta get some LED lights in there I'm gonna light the whole booth up as bright as I can and I think these other two switches turn on those two outlets on the side right there and um, that's it it came with an extra panel that would come out here steel um, let me see if I can get it and show you there it is see it and this mounts here if you want it like that so you can come all the way out I haven't decided yet if I'm going to use it or not. I like to use my uh, my black sheets of paper, so I just might put black here, and that's all. Now I want to show you guys one more unique item, but let me put this in the bracket 
and get the camera more steady and uh, I'll be right back. All right guys, here we are. I got the camera in the mount and uh, this will be the perspective, I hope. I might get it down a little better, but this isn't too bad. And um, I'll zoom in a little more when I do my test like this. All right, look at that. So uh, let's go back this panning out because I want to show you guys something, this product that was sent to me. Hobby pads. Hobbypads.com spray booth and they also have them for the desk I'll do that in a separate video now this is steel I guess it can get really dirty if you want and then you know wipe it with some acetone once or twice a week but uh, that might be getting nasty check this out these fit right in here oh man these fits perfect and it's a pad it's an actual pad hobby pads and they're reversible it doesn't seep through and once you're done with one side you tear it and, and flip it over um, they're going to be printed on both sides soon. That's coming in the next uh, phase, I guess. He says they're going to be printed on both sides, but that doesn't really matter too much. Um, I would have preferred black. Um, I, I like to do uh, dark colors on camera. I think it shows the piece up, but truly, it doesn't matter. And uh, this is really going to keep the booth clean. Um, now, this is a bigger pad for my booth, but look at this. It's got a smaller pad. They sell a smaller one for the smaller size boots. And... Uh, there's plenty of sheets and you reverse it so this will last you a good a good while uh, really impressive product it's nice it's got a really cool feel to it if you could uh, feel it it's really slick like glass uh, like vinyl and um, that is awesome uh, so I will be uh, utilizing that in the next vid hold on let me get this out of the way all right but I'm not going to use any paint right now, but I'm going to show you guys the booth. I'll use my uh, 105 Patriot and just some water. And uh, it's all running, and here we go. And you can see it arcing right up. And look at the room now. I can build uh, the Titanic model. Uh, it's about this big from Ravel. That thing will fit in here. Or big wings on uh, large scale airplanes. And you don't really have to even aim for the filter, you know. And that is quiet as anything. Um, it's on. My uh, exhaust fan is on full blast, my extra one. And this one is, uh, I guess it always runs on high. Isn't that awesome? So I'm excited. I wanted to get this up before I went on with my next test because I knew this was arriving very soon, and it did. And uh, I am quite happy. And uh, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can buy these. Now, this is his biggest model and latest and greatest. All of them are like this now, but uh, you can get them in different sizes. Sorry about the, the camera. Let me hold that. And you can get them all different sizes. I think there's three versions. Uh, the smaller one and then the smaller one I think has the lights and stuff and then this one uh, But I'll put a link below and um, I would check them out uh, for sure and uh, This is great quality and this stuff is gonna last uh, this should last a lifetime And all you have to do really is pull this off and put another one in straight up. There's no Fancy cutting like I had to do on my other one. I was cutting up pads and uh, that wasn't fun but uh, my uh, Walmart, I think my Target locally, they all sell this size uh, filter. I ever need one, no matter where I am, I guess I can grab one, which is fantastic. So, uh, yeah, that's the booth. You'll be seeing this featured. I might have a little bit more lighting involved. I might light the sides up, too. I might get it all lit up. And uh, that might be the only difference you guys see. And on occasion, you will see different uh, filter pads. And... Uh, Depending what I'm painting, I will put in the bottom. I will put the uh, hobby pads at the bottom. And that's it. Isn't that great? I love this thing. It's fantastic. High quality. If you guys are into the hobby and you're going to be painting, you know, often your rest of your life, technically, you know, once you're in the hobby, you're in, right, guys? And um, uh, an essential part of the hobby. Uh, I think, oh, sorry, guys, I'm leaning over my new camera set. Uh, a good airbrush, a good compressor, and a nice spray booth. Everything else is easy. You just pick the paint you want and you go to town. This is the heart and soul, other than the paint, of the hobby if you're getting into this, uh, the painting portion of it all. 
Um, all right, guys. Anyway, uh, we're going to head back to the bench and we're going to give away the Vallejo Vallejo box set. All right, guys, here we are back at the bench. And uh, you can see my new row of uh, Gundam Converges. I fell in love with this little guy when I saw him. On that Zegok. Look at that. Isn't that great? I didn't detail him yet. I just took him out of the box and threw him on here. He's got a little stand because he's a little harder to stand up. These guys are tough to stand up. These guys stand on their own. But uh, I got the Banshee. I got a Unicorn. Isn't that great? Uh, Hobby Lobby had him. And they were on sale too. Look at that. I like these little guys for the desk. They had a little personality. I can kind of beat them up. Uh, I keep the models out of the way because I move around too much and they start to fall apart on me. Oh, and also the video today is brought to you by Powerwolf. I was listening to Powerwolf today. I have their whole collection. They have a lot of CDs. Uh, wonderful art. Um, great uh, power metal. Um, lead singer is from Romania. I think he was classically or opera trained. And... Um, the great stuff. That little tongue in cheek on a lot of the, lot of the tracks. Uh, really catchy. Short three to four minute tracks. Uh, great videos. They have a great sense of humor. Uh, look up Power Wolf uh, on YouTube. In fact, they got a bunch of new videos. I think they have a new album coming out very soon because they keep popping up in my feed. And uh, anyway, we are brought to you by Power Wolf. And uh, anyway, now on to the winner of the Vallejo box set of uh, Game Air paints is. Anthony Rico, you are the winner. I put all the names into the uh, auto picker, and your name came up. Anthony Rico, I guess a fellow Italian. Um, anyway, guy, if you're watching this video, uh, write to me. You'll see my uh, email is in the description, and um, I have your uh, information saved, so we'll match it up. We'll make sure it's you, and um, we'll go from there. I'll ship this thing out next week to you. And uh, it's pretty heavy, and the box is going to be pretty big. So uh, even the shipping is not cheap in these babies. So uh, you are the lucky one there, Anthony Rico. And uh, that's it. That's it for the video today, guys. Uh, I just wanted to get the booth set up before I continued on with... Uh, let me pull Anthony's name out of here. With the test. Now, what I did for... You guys know this what, the white test is coming up. You can see all the acrylics are here. Um, what I did was... I got these black strips ready for the acrylics. We're going to prime the paint surface. So these are all been black primed. And um, for the uh, lacquers, I just went with straight plastic because the lacquers don't really need a primer. So I got black plastic strips for the lacquers. And then I labeled each one, Gaia, and everyone is labeled. I'll airbrush this side, obviously. I'm going to airbrush on camera. I brushed them off camera so they can dry. And uh, it's just, I can't do it all on camera. The, the video is going to end up taking three hours. And uh, But you can see what I did there. I brushed on each of the brands. And we're going to see how they compare brushed and airbrushed. But mostly, I'm testing the airbrush on the coverage going over a dark piece. In this case, plastic. So, uh, yeah, I've been brushing. All those are done. Now i got to work on I just started the, the, the white. So I got to do all those. That's why they're on the bench. That's what's coming up next. So yeah, everything's labeled. And uh, we'll do one side brushed and one side airbrushed. So that's why I'm going to get the new booth up because there's going to be a lot of airbrushing. And I figured uh, we'll, do the, we'll do the booth first and then we'll go on with the test because I got several big, big tests coming up for uh, airbrushing, including uh, this, the AOK -OK Silver Oaks test. Uh, each color has, what, six shades, I think? So there's, there's you know, white one, white number two, white number three so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray all of them I'm gonna do number one of each one on camera and then I'm gonna do every shade off camera and I'm gonna look at one two three four five six I'm gonna look at each shade um, on camera uh, that's just what I do I like to come if I got them all then I'm gonna compare them all and um, so that's what we're gonna do and that, that draw of that lineup is the shading so that's why we want to see the difference in all the shades and uh, those are all coming up, and they're coming up very soon. But first will be the white uh, paint test right after this video. It'll be in the next few days. I just want to get that spray booth done, which you guys saw. If I do any changes to the booth, I'll, I'll keep you updated, particularly on the lighting. I might put the lighting around the edges. I might do that over the weekend. And um, you'll obviously, you'll notice it in the picture. Now, don't forget hobby pads. I'll put the link below. And I'll, uh, they also make them for the desktop, so I will show them on the desktop too. 
and uh, I'll do that in the next video. And uh, that's it. I got a bunch of new tools in the mail that I will be testing. I have an airbrush compressor that was I uh, bought uh, to give away. So I'm going to test the, the compressor, and then, of course, uh, we'll give it away just like we did this. I have another airbrush to give away. A lot of giveaways, so don't worry. If you didn't win this one, I got a lot of other biggies coming up and a few more model kits to give out, too. So uh, life is good. Don't worry, guys. Um, I'll take care of you. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Uh, congratulations to Anthony for winning, Anthony Rico. And um, don't forget to contact me. And uh, I want you guys to have a great day. All the mothers out there, uh, happy Mother's Day. Uh, it's Saturday night right now, so tomorrow will be Mother's Day. So I want to wish that to all the mothers out there. And um, you guys have a, a, a great, great weekend. And we'll see you in the next video.